Hi guys, you'll find me yet again in a street side restaurant somewhere in Rashida in Bangkok. Um, I'm having cow moo, which is steamed steamed rice with barbecued pork. There we are. Absolutely wonderful. And you get a, a little bowl of consomme, which is absolutely a must. Well, it's not a must, but they give it to you anyway. Uh, the whole thing comes to about 90 baht. That's with the uh, cola. And you also get your array of condiments there. Actually, I got two. Two lots of them. There you go. So listen, lads. This video is about safety. It's about how unsafe you are. It's about a hairy situation. It's about many hairy situations that you can find yourself in here. So I'm going to tuck into this while I tell you about this. And hopefully, hopefully, it's a case of being forewarned is forearmed. It's very hot. Oh my God. Let's have a taste of the consomme first. To, to acquaint the palate. Um, one thing that drives me crazy in Thailand is the chili, not the chilies, the garlic sometimes isn't out of the skin, but they never chop, well they don't never chop it, but I prefer my garlic chopped, but how and ever, it's there, it's there, it's good for you, this channel is good for you. Anyway, hairy, hairy moments. I was shooting a video last night, as I, well it wasn't a video, it was a live stream. I was doing a live stream for the big picture El Panorama. And I was walking back home on Intramara Soy, well it wasn't just the Soy Intramara. I live on just off that. It was about half one in the morning. And as I made my way up, carrying my, I didn't have my camera and tripod. If I had it done, it would have been much better because I would have had some defense. But as I walked up, it was, it's very dark and dingy as you know you know not all street lights in Bangkok work so it was quite dark and there was a motorcycle repair shop 24 hour one as some of them as a lot of them are there's a group of guys sitting outside drinking outside it and a fellow working on a motorcycle by the way this is lovely stuff um, it's a daisy You can have your green chilies with this as well, by the way. But it's a bit early for me. It's quarter past 11. This is my brunch. Um, but anyway, they were sitting outside drinking. And as I approached, my vision was obscured by a motorcycle that was parked horizontally on the footpath. Three street dogs appeared from nowhere, and I mean from nowhere, but they had been sitting, when I say from nowhere, they had been sitting with these guys. So they may have been street dogs, but they were acquainted with the guys, or the guys were acquainted to them. They lunged for me, three of them together frothing at the mouth. Well, I couldn't see if they were frothing, but you know what I mean. Um, teeth bared, all the rest of it. I nearly died. My heart was in my mouth. So, I immediately stepped into the middle of the road. Now, if there was nothing coming, I would have been killed. I stepped into the middle of the road and made sure, I, I stepped before I looked, because I had to. I had to get away. Then I looked, made sure the coast was clear across the road. They didn't follow because they couldn't because there was cars coming and I made haste and I proceeded on the far side of the road looking over my shoulder all the time. But you see, there's been, I won't, I don't know if I'm going to mention other YouTubers' names. And not, I mean, it's, it's all positive. Mm. That's really nice. Um stewed pork with steamed rice that's very orangey spicy more orangey in the colour than anything else but I made haste and I got myself out of that situation but there's other YouTubers who've made YouTube videos about being bitten by dogs in Bangkok 
you know, 10% of dogs in Thailand have rabies. That's a fact. 10% of dogs in Thailand have rabies. So if you get bit, if you get bitten by a dog, well, let's say a street dog in particular, you're in trouble. Um, the YouTuber made that video. Um, I think it said it cost twenty thousand baht for the course of vaccines. Twenty thousand baht. What's that? Six hundred dollars, something like that. Street. See, the thing that drives me mad and really drives me bloody mad about living here. I love living here. People think I'm negative all the time. I'm not negative. I just get upset about things. That's an upsetting thing to happen. If that happened to you, you'd be upset. But the main thing that I was upset about wasn't just the incident itself. What's the fact that these animals are allowed roam free? And I know Bangkok is the only city in the world. But of course, obviously I come from the West, where it's not allowed to happen. These animals are allowed roam free. And there's nothing done to curtail their their reign of terror. If you're walking along on a main street in Bangkok at any hour of the day or night, you're relatively safe from the wrath of a street dog. But if you venture late at night, or well, say after dark, or say late at night, down a back street or a side street, which you can't really avoid sometimes because that's the nature of Bangkok, to get home, I don't have to walk down back streets. There's another way I could have gone, but where I was, it was the quickest way. Quickest way. But you are at risk. You are at absolute, and there's three of them like there was on me. That could have been the end of it. We well, see it really annoys me that nothing is done. Nothing is done. I've made videos about this before. I don't want to be repeating myself because it's. By the way, it's a double whammy. This is uh, stewed pork with with um, steamed rice. Hmm. Wow. This incident happened to me within the last 12 hours. Actually, it's half past 11, the last 10 hours. And it's still very fresh in my mind. I was terrified, absolutely terrified. So why isn't there anything, it's a question. Why isn't there anything done, done about it? If these, what we got? If these street dogs roam the streets at the expense of the average Joe Blogs, why is that done? I'll tell you one of the reasons I think something isn't done. They can smell, they can smell Farang. They were sitting there with the motorcycle repair guys before I came along. And the minute they saw me, bang. I don't know what you think. I've noticed it up in Tlong Lawang, on Tutini, where my wife has my house. If you watch any of the videos from up there, you'll know we can't walk on that road. 7-Eleven is 500 metres down the road, and I have to drive there, or bring a driver, or an iron iron, with me. And nobody does anything to keep their dogs under control. The Thais can walk up and down those streets of Pontutini, where I, my wife has her house there, and nothing happens. But the minute... I do it. They're after me. They can smell for rank. That's exactly what it is. And some people might say they can smell the fear. I didn't have any fear last night as I was walking home with a few pints on me actually. And I was happy as Larry just finished me, me life. Happy as Larry. I just finished my live stream. And then all of a sudden, bang, it's a pity I wasn't on the live stream when it happens. It's a pity because I just finished it because the battery end, the battery died. Have you ever had an experience like that? That's not my only experience. But you see, it just happened to me. And it dawned on me then that it's only for Ryan. Or we are more at risk than the locals are. Because the locals don't seem to do anything about it. If they were being affected the way I'm affected, I think they'd do something about it.
part of the wonder of Bangkok and Thailand. When you consider the road fatality rate, amongst the highest in the world, when you consider the street dogs an omnipresent threat, and nothing is done about it, that's the wonder, that's the that's the that's the magic of Thailand because regulation well there is regulation but it's not as regulated so here's me on one hand complaining that the street dogs are allowed to go around and do their thing as much as they want but back in Ireland or back in Europe or the UK or places like that they'd be rounded up but if they started doing that here Bangkok would lose its, its it lose its it would lose its charm. It would. Places like this wouldn't be allowed to operate in the EU. Because they wouldn't meet food hygiene standards and all the rest of it. And you'd need your license to sell your food on the street. These guys don't need anything. These are all impromptu. They take over the sidewalk. They take over the sidewalk. And that's wonderful. It's wonderful they can do that. That's the charm of it. But in places like this, active, busy places, you're less likely to encounter street dogs. Or if you see them, they keep themselves to themselves. But it's the back streets late at night where you're in absolute danger. Keep your wits about you. Normally I have my tripod. I, obviously, if I'd had this tripod, very expensive tripod with my camera and that's another expensive piece of kit I wouldn't have cared I'd take a swing at them if I broke the camera broke the camera it's better than getting rabies wonderful absolutely delicious it really was really hit the spot <coughs> I hope this video hit the spot for you I want to know if you've had a similar experience to me I'm sure you have I've had more than one but as I said that's the most recent it happened within the last 10 hours and it was nerve-wracking it was actually nerve-wracking and the, the thing that I just can't understand as I said is how nothing is done about it but by the same token that would be that would mean bringing in strict regulations and Thailand's not about strict regulations and that's probably one of the reasons we all love living here so the things that we complain about are the very things that we come here for because they're different to back home it's food for Tom this food is very nice and you've been very nice for popping along make sure if you haven't done so already click that like button the share button subscribe button do all those wonderful things and I'll bring you back another wonderful video very soon. Thanks for joining me.